Okay, this video is about setting up a weekly page uh, to show events. Um, now obviously this isn't a simple table, this is um, areas distributed for each day across a page and also Saturday and Sunday is a bit different. So, But the basic premise is the same as a month, uh, but this time um, we're going to use rectangles. But again, first thing I'm going to do is make a um, a layer to put these rectangles in. I'm going to call them um, event areas. Okay, that's done. Um, and then what you do is um, trace over the area that you want to have each day event in and do them in order. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whatever is on your page. But the important bit for each of these, you're going to turn on calendar. Okay, once you've done one, then you can copy and paste it along. Just arrange it appropriately. I'm just rushing a bit, but you can take your time. Um, So these are all exact copies of the first one. So they've got that calendar uh, field enabled. And then, right, when we get to Sunday and Saturday, it's a bit different. But um, what I've decided to do is go vertically. You could go, um, sorry, go horizontally. You could equally go, um, uh, vertically, which I might do after, as a demonstration after I've um, finished doing this one. Just put that into place. There. Okay, so that's that done. Um, next thing you're going to want to do is say that it is a calendar page and it's a week and week starting well, it's this week, so that's all good. Um, and the other thing to check is that it's a, a Monday start. So planner options, Monday first is on, so that will work. Um, that's good, done. Then we're going to turn on show events. Um, back to here, just a refresh events. Okay, so they've appeared now on the calendar in approximately the right place. And again, this one's a bit different, but it's done it that way around. Now, like I said, you could um, take this one across and up, and that one similarly to the bottom half. Um, I'll just have to refresh them. Okay, so it's moved that up, and you'd then you'd want to move that 19 down, obviously. Um, and that just about covers it. Oh, last point is um, you can make that locked and invisible, that event layer, um, so they're out of the way, unselectable. Um, and then obviously you've got lots of week pages, you're going to go to um, the copy properties, um, page date properties, and then the selected range for your week pages.